I want to make something. Hey guys, so I'm kind of in a crafty mood right now. You know, whenever you just like sit down and you're just like, I wanna make something. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. Like, I don't know, I just wanna make something, you know? So y'all have probably already read the title of this video and I gotta tell you guys how I came up with this idea. So I follow this group called The Chainsmokers on Instagram. I'm pretty sure all of y'all know who that is. I just follow them on Instagram because I love their clothing. Like literally their clothing is so good, their style and everything. One of the guys, Drew, he posted this picture the other day and there are these jeans, like they're like, like, I'll put a picture right here. They're like these light wash jeans with red on the back of them. And I saw these and I was just like, I need them. I went on the internet and legit, I'm not joking when I say this, I spent, okay, this is kind of pathetic, but I spent two hours trying to find these jeans. Like I was just like typing in light wash red striped jeans or just red back jeans and literally could just not find these freaking jeans. Like it was so hard. Like I literally just didn't know what to search up. So I just like went into the comment section of the original photo just to like pray that I could find these jeans. Like I don't know what I was seeing. Like maybe someone would comment that, oh, I love these blah, blah, blah jeans. I don't know, but I went and I found this one account in the comments comment section called the chain smokers closet and their comment said something like this outfit is on my page so I clicked on their account I couldn't find the outfit like their whole account is basically just reposting chain smokers photo and with a bunch of links of where these clothing items are at so I just really wanted these jeans and like I could not find them so I DM them and thank you so much they responded and like linked me to the picture of the jeans and I found them I'll put their page right here because y'all should definitely go check them out they like spend time to find each of these outfits and i honestly think that's so cool but i just need to give them a shout out for helping me find these jeans because i spent so long trying to find them but here comes the bad news they're off-white i know literally off-white is such an expensive brand so they're off-white by levi so like they're like a collaboration man i wanted these jeans so bad but obviously they're already sold out everywhere but on top of that even if they were in stock they're like six hundred dollars which I'm not about to spend that much on a pair of jeans. But then I thought to myself, why not DIY them? We all saw my previous DIY video, the one where I made a Gucci belt. That like kind of turned out good. So if you haven't watched that video, you should actually go watch it. I'll put a tag up on the screen. I don't know. I thought we should DIY these jeans. They're also designer. I mean, is off-white considered designer? I don't know, but I'm just gonna pretend it is. So I DIY'd a designer belt and I'm gonna DIY designer jeans and hopefully it turns out good. So to start off this DIY, obviously you need jeans so I have these jeans that I like don't wear that often anymore I don't care if I destroy them and this doesn't work out so I'm just gonna play around with these and see what happens the first step we want to do is to bleach them so I mean these jeans are fine but I feel like with the red back you need a lighter wash and these are pretty dark for red so I think I'm gonna like make them a few shades lighter so let's go outside and try and make this work I'm kind of scared I've never used bleach before but Let's see. Wow, we're outside. I like never go outside. For this step, you're gonna need a bucket and then you're gonna need some bleach and make sure to get your favorite flavors so that you can have a snack later. Then you're gonna need your jeans, obviously, and like a stick mixing thingy to like mix with gloves because we're not doing a DIY skin bleaching tutorial. So you wanna protect your hands so that you don't like ruin them. And then like a measuring cup or something to pour the bleach, so. Ow. So here's what my bucket looks like. It's just like one of those giant Home Depot style buckets and I filled it like halfway with water. I looked at the Clorox website and they actually have a tutorial article on how to do it. So they just said to put like one gallon of water per one cup of bleach. I'm just gonna guess that there's like two gallons in here. So I'm gonna put two cups of bleach in. So let's open this. <coughs> oh my gosh, don't do that. And then you're just gonna Now you want to get your stick and just like 
mix it, you know? You want to like distribute all the bleach throughout the water so that you don't put it in your pants and like the top half is white and then the bottom half is still dark blue. You just pretend you're like a, like a paint mixer and you just gotta get all this real nice and smooth. Now it's time to put in the jeans, I think. So the website said that they should be done in about five to seven minutes and then you should take them out. But I don't know, I'm just gonna put them in and hopefully not make them too light. Sorry for the abrupt change in my clothing. I just changed into a different shirt because I don't wanna like splash any bleach on the other one and get it ruined. So I just put in an old shirt. So I think what you're supposed to do is you're just gonna like lay them in there and then just like move them around and like dunk them over and over and stuff. Here goes nothing. Ooh, it's starting to like bubble. Okay, let me get my stick. This is making me really nervous. Like I've never done anything like this before. So this is what the jeans look like right now. I just have them in here and I'm just like moving them around, twisting them, stirring them. Okay, so I think the jeans might be done. I'm not 100% sure because they look like the same color as the jeans before I put them in, which means they must have gotten kind of lighter because wet denim looks darker than dry denim. So I don't know, I'm gonna go put it in the washing machine and then dry it and I'll get back to you once it's done. So I'm back from washing them and it actually worked. Are you kidding me? I did not think this was gonna work. Like I was putting these in the bleach and the thing online, like the article from Clorox said that it would take only seven minutes to bleach your jeans. I was just sitting there after seven minutes like, these jeans look exactly the same colors. I just like went inside and forgot that I was bleaching jeans and came back like two hours later and it actually worked. I think this is the perfect color. So now what we gotta do, we gotta put all the rips in it. I put my jeans on and now I have a pencil. Beauty Guru, this is the, uh, actually I don't even know what this is. This is the Orion HB2 pencil. We're just gonna be outlining all the rips that we wanna make. So I know that the first rip is like this giant giant rip here on the right leg. I know this giant rip starts like right above the knee. So you're just gonna like draw it out and that's basically where you're gonna cut. So you're just gonna do all the drawings all around the leg where you want your cuts and I'll be back to show you when I'm done. I think I got the jeans done. Right here you see I have like this drawn out for a rip here and then one here. And then on this side I have the one giant rip like right there. Then I have a tiny one on the bottom and then just one more up there. So now it's actually time to do the actual rips themselves. What you'll need is some really sharp scissors and then you want a serrated knife and then you want a seam ripper Okay, I was like, what's a seam ripper? I don't know. I mean, it probably rips seams, but I don't have one of those. So I'm just gonna use a large safety pin because it's kind of like a seam ripper because it has like a really big needle type of thing. Here's a better look at the jeans. So as you can see, I have all these holes drawn out. So I think the first thing what you're supposed to do is just like make a little thing like this and then use your scissors to make a tiny cut at the rip. And this is where you wanna get your like really serrated knife. Just gonna put this in here and you're gonna use that to like rip the jeans down the line and that's what's gonna give you the really rough edges and make you look very goth and edgy so i'm just doing this to the second line also and look at this this is actually turning out really good that looks so freaking good but just keep doing it until you get the lines completely finished i don't know if you can see this but i already have a few strands pulled out right here but basically you can kind of see like the crisscross pattern so what you're looking to do is to try and get the horizontal lines out of there, just like that. And you're just gonna go one by one until you get all of them down from this side to that side, which is probably gonna take a long time, but I think it'll be worth it. I got all these little holes done and these look so good. Like I'm not even kidding. And I'm gonna try them on in a second, but I got all the small holes done and now I just gotta get that one big hole on the right knee. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna have to color the back of our pants red now. I'll show you in a second what I got. I got like this red fabric paint. The first thing I wanna do is to like draw out where I want the paint to stop. And you're just gonna like feel the back of your knee right here and just draw a line. Now what I'm gonna do is I have this line here from where I drew it and I have this roll of tape. So I'm just gonna spread this out 
and put it directly along the line. So that's where the paint is gonna stop and it's not gonna go past that line. Now you wanna repeat the same process, but line it up with the side seam because that's the edges of where your paint is gonna go. Once you've done the tape to both legs, we're gonna use the fabric paint. So the fabric paint I have is this tulip color. Oh wait, the tulip color shot instant fabric color in red. Just finished the pants. So this is what they look like. I mean, it's like kind of like a dark maroonish red. It's not really a vibrant red, kind of how I wanted it to, but these actually don't look horrible. One thing I'm thinking of adding is like down here, I wanna kind of crop these cause they're a little bit too long. So if I cut these and like fray the edges, that'll look cool. So let's just do a quick fashion show and we'll wrap up the video. But yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. I actually had a lot of fun making this DIY project. The rips actually turned out so good. Like, look at this. So, Lord DIY, if you're watching this video, you might as well pass over the password to your account to me. But yeah, subscribe if you like this video. If any of y'all decide to make these pants, which probably none of y'all will, but if you're like one of the people that actually does this, then definitely send a picture to my Instagram down below. But I guess that's it. So I'll see you next week. Peace.